Mama told me not First of all, Angela, Vexana, and Layla were all at bot lane. Bruh. Meaning at that moment, none of those three will be defending the mid lane tower. In fact, later on, we will see that the three would continue to overstay at the bot lane. Lol. Second, once the enemy does rotate to the mid lane, I have Flicker as well as Nana's passive Fast ability as, fuck, as forms boy. of escape. Another reason why it was safe to continue pushing mid was because Ooh. Aldous was actually ganked at top lane by our Deereth and Gushin. Though at that point the Alpha has already respawned and is alive, all I have to do is react once he does decide to defend the mid lane. Though entering bushes is not recommended when the enemy is missing, that isn't always necessarily the case. Huh? I did mention in a previous video that as long as you are aware of the enemy's last known location, you can use that to react accordingly. Like in this case, since I was aware of the enemy's last positions, I am 99% sure that at that moment, no one is positioned at left bush mid. But hold on. You might be wondering why didn't I help my teammates at the bot lane in the first scenario? Hmm. Well, that is simple. In solo queue, your mindset should always be to quote unquote carry the team, of course. especially if you are a damage dealer. If that means pushing the mid tower to benefit a lot from its gold plating, then so be it. The quicker I get my items, then I would be at a much better position to help the team. That doesn't mean, however, that you shouldn't help your team at all. Of course, you should support your team when you can. Anyways, overall, you should use the map to gather information about your enemy and decide whether to take an objective or where to position safely. That is all and see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.